I have been developing trading indicators over the past four years. I was the first person to release an inverse for a value gap indicator. And recently we have just launched the Manipulation X V3 indicator available inside of the Easy Trades Pro community. So in this video, I want to go over how to use this indicator effectively, because yes, even though we do alert you for when these conditions are met, this is not an indicator that you want to follow completely blindly, okay? And the reason I say you don't wanna follow this completely blindly is because you still need to use common sense, use discretion when you're trading, follow a basic protocol, and don't take setups that aren't high probability setup. The Manipulation X indicator is designed to help you spot manipulation in real time. We do this through a few different confirmations. Number one being liquidity sweeps, number two being inverse fair value gaps, and number three being a draw on liquidity. Once you have all three of those checked out, you have a high probability trade with anywhere from a 60 to 70% win rate on average. Of course, if you only take A plus setups, that win rate can increase a little bit. This is also the exact same indicator and strategy that I am live trading every single morning inside of the Discord. Today was a phenomenal day. I made around $35,000 across five funded accounts using this indicator, and many other people inside of the live stream also took this trade on their funded accounts, making thousands of dollars, literally in the span of minutes. I know this might sound too good to be true for some of you guys who are still a little cautious about indicators and strategies and think, oh, there's no way this can work. After you watch this video, I want you guys to go and back test the strategy yourself. Don't take my word for it. Don't listen to me. I'm just a random person on the internet. Go and back test the strategy yourself. And if you find out that it works, which it does, then you can start to use this in your own trading and really start to see some great results. So unlike other YouTubers who go and show you trades in hindsight, I am going to show you the two trades from today. Okay, these were two trades. This one I took on live stream. This one I called the level in advance. I was off of live stream, but pretty much everyone got in this trade inside of the group. And of course, our indicator called it as well. I've already made a video jumping into what all of these settings are inside the indicator. So I'm not going to repeat that in this video. I'm just going to go over how I personally use this indicator and how I'm seeing great results on a daily basis. Now, if you guys are wondering what asset or symbol the strategy works, this works across any asset. Okay, so crypto, Forex, stocks, NQ futures. It doesn't matter. This is all a certain way of looking at price action. It's never going to work for one asset and not work for another. Now, what we are looking for when using the strategy and when using this indicator are as follows. Number one is a sweep of external liquidity. Okay. A sweep of external liquidity slash delivering from higher time frame fair value gap. So what does this mean? Okay. A sweep of external liquidity is going to be a sweep like this, okay, or a sweep like this down here of a key session, high or low. It's not an internal liquidity sweep like this right here, okay, sweeping this high. It is these very clear and obvious levels that we have on our chart that we are anticipating price to sweep. These are going to be stronger draws in liquidity. We can expect a reaction off of these levels. If there's not a higher time frame liquidity level, we can also look for price to be delivering from a higher time frame fair value gap. So all this means is price reacting from a higher time frame fair value gap. So I see we have a 15 minute bullish fair value gap here. If we see an inverse and an indicator signal here, which we're obviously not going to get, but if we did, this would be a good trade to take as well. So it needs to be sweeping external liquidity or delivering from a higher time frame fair value gap. Like I said, I like to use the 15 minute and one hour if I'm trading on a one to three minute time frame, which this indicator works best for. This is a lower time frame indicator built for scalping, built for finding an entry on a lower time frame, looking for those quick moves. Okay, number two, we are looking for a V shape reversal. Okay, a V shape reversal is going to be an inverse fair value gap after sweeping external liquidity or delivering from a high time frame fair value gap within a few candles. So take a look at this trade here that myself and our members took that the indicator called, right? You can see here, we have a bearish fair value gap, sweeping external liquidity, also sweeping internal liquidity or this recent low here. So we have two sweeps of liquidity and then we get that very obvious inverse fair value gap within one candle price closes back above that bearish fair value gap. That is when the indicator called the signal. This was our trade targeting the unfilled one hour fair value gap and all of this low resistance liquidity, which we're going to get into in step three. Also, our indicator does have a toggle to only show V shape reversals. So if we toggle this on, you will see it will actually have gotten rid of that trade this morning, but it would have kept 
the second trade, which was the A plus setup because it was sweeping a higher time frame liquidity level. You can see here, now it will only show V-shape reversals. And guys, you can see just blindly following these signals. Not that I would ever trade during the session. You would have gotten probably, you know, a 60 to 70% win rate just following these signals alone. We also have an A plus setup only filter, which only shows us trades that are delivering from a higher time frame fair value gap. It is only showing the A plus setups. Personally, I will keep everything untoggled and I will manually filter the signals out based on a few things. Number two is gonna be a V-shape reversal. Is this mandatory? Do we need to see a V-shape reversal? No, okay. Take this trade earlier this morning that we took. This one ended up being a TP1 then break even trade, but we did have a sweep of pre-market lows, which is what I would consider an external liquidity level. And we had a pretty solid reaction here. Very obvious bearish for value gap get inversed, very clear target. So this was a valid trade, even though this wasn't technically a V-shape reversal because this inverse fair value gap was very obvious. We want to take the trade. We only want to be taking obvious setups guys and it might take a little bit to train your eyes for what an a plus setup or what an a setup looks like obviously our indicators will kind of remove the guesswork which is why i'd highly recommend you guys joining the discord and actually joining the live streams with us so you guys can learn price action in real time the third thing i look for is time i like to trade within certain times called macros this is going to be when the hourly candle is about to close or a new hourly candle just opens so as you can see here this long position from this morning happened right after 10 a.m right so this was your 10 a.m reversal trade obviously it didn't occur right at 10 a.m but it was inside of our macro window right at 10 10 as price is sweeping liquidity this was the new hourly candle open low and this was the reversal back up to the high close. So we're getting into a little bit more complex topics here, but you can see a lot of the times within our macro window, we will see either a large move as soon as that macro opens or right after that macro period closes. This is also, of course, within our indicator as well. Keep these settings default. These are going to be your macro timing windows where you want to look for trade. Again, does it have to be within this time window to be a valid setup? No, right? I do like to look for trades as soon as market opens on New York Open. For example, this long position we took in live today, which was a winning trade. We take a look at yesterday. There was our 10 a.m. reversal once again. This was also a trade that we called on the live stream. This was another TP1 winning trade. Okay, the last thing I look for, and what's actually the most important, is a very clear or obvious DOL or draw on liquidity. Now, I just made a video on this channel going over draws and liquidity, what a strong draw on liquidity is, what a clear target is. So I'm not going to jump into that too deep in this video, but a draw on liquidity is very, very important. You want to look for obvious setups. On the second long position that we took this morning, we had a very clear draw on liquidity, okay? We had all of these highs here that price did not take out, and it forms this trend line on our chart, okay? This is referred to as trend line liquidity, a low resistance liquidity raid or LRLR for short. So this is going to be a strong draw on liquidity. So as soon as I see this V-shape reversal, we're sweeping external and we have this very clear trend line liquidity above, I know there is like an 80% chance that as soon as I enter this long, it is at least going to take out these highs. Even if it is going to reverse, it is most likely going to take out these highs and most likely going to run this full trend line, which it obviously ended up doing. And it ran towards this one hour bearish fair value gap. So before you enter a trade, you just want to have very clear targets. What you don't want to do is enter a trade on an aggressive pullback. So taking a look at the two long positions that were valid yesterday, which of these trades do you think is going to be the highest probability trade out of these two long positions here. The answer is trade number two, okay? Because once again, we have very clear targets, right? We have all of this low resistance liquidity and protected highs that price has not taken out yet. So as soon as I see this clean V-shape reversal, right? Sweeping internal liquidity, delivering from a lower time frame bullish fair value gap, I know there's like an 80% chance that we're at least gonna hit TP1. Pair this trade right here, to this previous trade that we had. Notice how we had a very aggressive pullback before this trade. Now, granted, we did have an equal high target here, okay? We did have an equal high target, which once again is going to be a strong draw on liquidity. I've already made videos on this, but it's not as obvious, it's not as clear as this second trade where we just have this very obvious trend line on our chart. This is like an 80% win rate setup, guys. Whenever you see a very obvious trend line, low resistance liquidity, equal highs, 
you know that price is most likely going to run those highs if you get that v-shape reversal if you get that indicator signal both of these trades technically were valid but note this very aggressive pullback in cases like this when you have a strong move down, you want to let price action form. You want to let price action develop, build up those lower highs. And eventually, once you get your A plus set up, price is going to run those highs and hit your full TP. If you want to increase the win rate of this strategy, of this indicator, you can also use higher time frame for value gaps that price is delivering from. For example, this trade on NQ was an A plus setup, right? Delivering from a higher time frame for a value gap, which our indicator also displays as well. Let me show you guys this on another asset like Bitcoin, for example. Once again, the logic is the exact same. Sweep of liquidity into a V-shape reversal. In this case, we were in an uptrend. Your draw on liquidity is going to be higher. So you want to target higher prices. Okay, maybe target these highs all the way up here. Take a look at Solana here as well. Just absolutely incredible, right? Sniping every single local bottom, local top in the market. Of course, you want to wait for these very obvious external sweeps. So that is a very basic tutorial on how I personally use the Manipulation X indicator. I have been coding indicators for years and years and years. I was the first person to ever release an IFEG indicator, I believe. If you guys have made it to the end of the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more trading content. We are dropping so much sauce. No one's dropping this amount of sauce on YouTube, guys. I mean, you don't even need the indicators, although that's what I'm showing you in this video. You can learn the strategy and trade this on your own and make a shit ton of money. It is that powerful. If you guys are interested in the indicator, you can click the first link in the description below. If you guys are still struggling traders, you're still not profitable. You see people winning online, but you just don't know how they're doing it. I would highly recommend taking an hour or two out of your day every single day, joining the live streams at New York Open, following our trades in real time so you can understand the system, right? It's one thing to trade with an indicator. It's another thing to understand the logic behind it. Understand why you're entering, where to place your stop loss, where to take profit. I didn't really get into it that much in this video. I'm just showing you kind of how to decipher a good signal from a bad signal, but that's going to be it for me in this video. Let me know if you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys have found value. I will see you guys next video.